Hang on a minute. Let me before I start. I'm about to do. Ra- I'm about to do radio warships. Talk me through the Wookie lineup. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Cool. Uh, just I, the game just launched and I'm like spinning, looking at the sky. Uh-huh. That was kind of uh-huh. scary. Look at that double Montana on. Uh, you want me on the Wookie side? So double Montana. We got double Masva, double Des Moines. Uh, Daring Marceau Shimakaze. Give me a moment. What's, what, what ships were banned? Nevsky and Conqueror. Oh! That's an interesting choice, isn't it? Cons- considering how little we saw Conqueror actually mattering. Indeed. You know? All right. KSC bringing Kremlin, Montana, Des Moines, Venezia, Moskva, Stalingrad, Daring, Shimakaze, and Zath. Look at that. A Grozovoy. Hey, Our old buddy Lego Shizuko. Party Australia coming to the dance in the Shimikaze. Oh, so, God. So Nick Grosevoy you... is using the poop camo. The, was that the bronze, the bronze League? Yeah. <laughs> that looks so weird. I know, right? Um, Lego... Is, he, is, is Lego Party using 20-kilometer torps? Yes. What I was about just going to mention that. What about stealing? Uh, I can't see that on my mod. It, sometimes it shows and then it disappears. Unfortunately, okay. it's disappeared okay. at already, so. Fair enough. We'll figure it out. Have a look at deployment for both teams. Four ships south, four KSC, Grozovoy, Moscow, Venezia, Kremlin. Des Moines, Shima, Montana headed to C. Stalingrad, Daring look like they're going to go play B. Wookie going with a similar but not identical arrangement. Moscow, Daring playing B. Marceau, Des Moines, Montana heading A. Shimakazi, Moscow, Des Moines, and Montana headed C. I love Borla's name, by the way. I love Borla's uh, change name, uh, OnlyFans. It's hilarious. Yep. Yep. I, it, it's unfortunate I wasn't able to, I was going to tell you, search for OnlyFans <laughs> <laughs> to, get, to get into the training. Oh, room. that would have been so wrong. That would have been so wrong. <laughs> Wookie Legends Marceau on an aggressive line, moving right down the three line into A. Should be able to bag it very handily, unless they pop. Let's see, is he in Mosque for radar range? He is not. So even if Hannibal no. puts up his radar, it's not going to matter. Wookie should be able to grab this and be out of this cap before KSC can, can react. Wookie's already turning away. Oh, um, yeah. Anticipating a Moskva position, so. Well, I'm wondering. He's, he can see the Moskva now, so he knows the guy's there. Mm-hmm. But I'm just saying, you, you instinctively expect a Moskva to butt up mm-hmm. on that island, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, or somebody, right? A Des Moines, a Moskva, something. Early A cap for Wookie gives them a small lead, starting to build as Steel and Shimikaze does the exact same thing in C. I feel like I, I tell me what you think, Zaf. I feel like Shimikaze is perhaps not a great pick for this map. What do you think? If I'm going to take Shimikaze on this map, I'm going to take eight kilometer Shimikaze. Oh, you're going to take the mini nukes. Uh, yep, because you know what? H- how many times have we seen uh, the Shimakaze in a position where if it only could have struck with a torpedo, you know, things would have been different. I, right. I just, I, I don't feel like these these torpedoes in the Shima are are you know are are working out. Well, I say that. I know the Shimakaze Borla. torpedoes. They are pushing. They're at least making Borla pause. I mean, they, mm-hmm. without his hydro, he might have blundered into one of those. Possibly, unlikely, but possible. Yep. Yep. By the way, chat is telling me it sounds like there was no uh, no stutter when I did that test run. So thank you, chat. We're okay, going to try good. it again after this match. Good, good, good. It would be good to solve Lego that Party problem. Australia backing into C now? Yep, it'd be good to oh, solve that yeah. problem today. <laughs> it might also be having something to do with how we're doing our, our window pop-out because we did a direct call versus That's true. Uh, last time we were on the uh, other thing. Oh, it looks like Borla is going to pick up B. Yep, I don't think at this point Beagle Boss is going to be able to stop him. Four minutes gone as every cap is contested or changing hands at the moment. Borla is going to bag B. A is contested by the Grozovoy. That's Shizuko's Grozovoy on the way down on the I line. And Lego Party Australia's Shimikaze will, was flipping C, now contested by Steelen's Shimikaze on the top end of the cap. So at the moment, KSC, the only people ticking up points on the strength of their B-cap. That's right. That's right. And Beagle Boss is there, but there's really no point, you know. Now, 
Zath, I gotta say, I, I, I'm looking at the deployment of Wookiee's ships. Mm -hmm. There are two that, that I don't understand. I don't understand Big Dog's position, and I don't understand Moose's position. Now, Moose has his guns like he's looking for the Stalingrad, looking for Cable Guy. But he can't see Cable okay. Guy, and if he can't, even if he can't, I'm not convinced he can get those shells over the island to drop in. Maybe he can. I don't know. So mm -hmm. I, I can I can I can kind of nod at that position. And go okay. I, I sort of get it. I really don't get Big Dog's position. He's out of radar range. He can't spot anything. I'm just not sure why. I think I think what they're trying to do is collapse. Be ready to collapse on B cap. But I don't. Yeah, I, I agree. Like his presence, both those ships basically aren't being hurt at all. Yeah, they're not being hurt. They're not being so, targeted. They're not really effective. They're not able to exert any kind of real control over the flow of the game from that from those positions. Right. In the meantime, both of these, you know, Shimakazes at sea are just kind of sitting there, like mm -hmm. they're just holding that cap in place. Wookie Legends Marceau rotates to B. He's going to drive right through the middle of the board. Cable Guy Stalingrad going to pick yeah. him up on radar. And we've got a Des Moines that's pushing up a little bit here, but, you know, OnlyFans GM Schwartz is shooting right at him. <laughs> they all went OnlyFans in their names for some reason. Maybe they want some attention. Uh, come to the right place, apparently. Wookie does bag B in the Marceau. He's getting good work out of the speed and flexibility of that French destroyer right now. And now yes. Wookiee starts to tick up points. They are the only ones moving points at the moment. I have about a 50-point lead here. Seven minutes played. I was about to say now, Wookiee is about to run into a yeah. uh, torpedo dodging minigame. He's fine. He barely yeah. has to touch his rudder. I know. He's listening lazily to the right. Now, here's something interesting, Zap. Look at if mm. you if Wookiee holds that heading, let's assume for a minute that he holds that heading. Mm -hmm. The Des Moines will have no shot on him. The Montana Schwartz might have a shot on him. He could really, really mess up Lego Party before Lego got smoked and got out of there. That's a possibility, and it looks like that might be what he's trying to accomplish. It certainly does look that way, doesn't it? Now, there's torpedoes going in for Lego, but those are likely to miss, it seems. Yeah, all passing yep. down his port side. Wookiee now has to be spotted on the surface. Lego has to know he's there. Let's have a check. Yep, Lego knows that he's there now. Montana Salvo coming in on Wookiee. This could hurt a lot. And it does. Oh. A cool, a cool, a cool 12,000 of his hit points disappear. Ouch. Yeah, he didn't even tap his rudder or change his speed. Well, that plan doesn't work. <laughs> well, they, 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 push, they push Lego Party off, but Borla just ducks back into B and flips that cap. Oh, Darius's daring goes down. What caught him out over here? I wonder. Must have been a Moskva radar. I'm betting. Yep, Moskva's radar is up. Yep, KSC bagging the first kill of the game down here at A as they also pick up the cap along the way. Up a cap, up a ship. Looking really good in the early going here against Wookie. Very interesting. Now Dagger's in a pretty precarious position because he's bowing. He's got a Venezia and a Grozeroy off to his side, and he's got a Kremlin and a Moskva that are just kind of looking at him like food. Dagger's in basically what amounts to a 4v1. It's only a 2v1 right now because Aussie and, and Hannibal's have no shots. That will right. eventually change, but for the moment, that is the case. Dagger, right. Dagger can reverse and try to pull out of there, but he can't do it and stay unspotted. So... I also don't think he's in a position where he could just trade his ship for someone else. Of course, when you're behind, trading ships is not a great idea, but I don't know. He's in just he's just in a pickle all around, really. It's uh yeah. I mean, it almost looked like he wanted to try to go for the trade. He knows that Aussie Zeus is coming. Oh, he knows Aussie's coming. And he also knows he can't win that fight. Right. So at that point, do you just apply pressure directly to the forehead or what? I guess we'll find out. I think, I think he might very well. No, he's backing up. He's trying to. He's trying to live through an 
Well, and the Kremlin's dispersion doesn't really leave him. He's trying to knock out. He's trying to knock out Aussie's turrets. I don't think he. Okay. I'm not sure he has the pen to do that. That's what I'm getting at. Those he's, turrets are pretty well armored. He needs to turn on the acceleration and go for the ram now if he's going to get it. If he's going right. to trade for the Kremlin, it has to come now before the Kremlin's guns reload. He is going to get it. All right. So not a not an amazing trade, but at least it's a trade. It's something. His death is not in vain. Right. Right, but I kind of feel like Whoa. he could have... Happened to Big Dog. For a guy who's been playing in the back all game, he sure has beat the hell. Montana yeah. Shell's coming in. Ooh, they miss. He dodged the torpedo. He does. No, he doesn't. He's going to over... Oh, my God! Oh, I thought he was going to oversteer into it. He almost did. Yeah. But yeah, I kind of feel like Dagger might have been able to turn the engines on after that initial like uh, failed salvo on him. I yeah, he's going to go down yeah, yeah. here. Yeah, and he he might have been able just to get right on his side and just citadel him off the side. Yeah, but I am Moose seems to have finally decided it's time to move up to a useful position. I I just I hated him playing in the backfield with his dead eye spotter plane all game. Like that just felt terrible. Right. So right. now now he's at least in a position where he can exercise some influence over the battlefield. Zemeckis on the top end of C, probably in a little bit of trouble. Montana off his bow. Des Moines Shimikaze up there as well. He needs some smoke. I wonder if Steelen has smoke available. could come back and smoke up his teammate, but probably not in a position to do that right now. 11 minutes gone. KSC out to a 200-point lead and a two-ship lead here. Looking to Montana's move on. Montana's are just... Looking to try and move on. Go ahead. Montana's are just exchanging broadsides and basically coming up short for short, both of them. Yeah, not really much going on there. Mosfa AP going in on the Stalin broadside doesn't get much out of it. Big Dog's got to go out here. Like, the Daring can farm him down in seconds. He's mm -hmm. trying to heal. Mosfa Salvo seeking out Cable Guy. Eh, solid hit. Yeah. But, I mean, Big Dog has got... Now, Venezia Shell's coming in as well from his starboard side. He's going to be out right here. Yep. Yep, there it is. KSC moves out to a three-ship lead. I like the early aggressive by Wookiee Legend. I liked getting into A. I liked watching Steel and get onto C. I liked all of that. But it felt like that they didn't back up that early position with enough battleship firepower to hold what they had. Right. Exactly. Uh, I definitely like that that he was that the Wookiee legend was moving around the map. I oh, I love was that. Awesome to see. Yes. Um, I just that that loss of the daring early on was just catastrophic. And we didn't spend a whole lot of time looking at A, so I'm I'm, t I'm still not positive what happened. I'll have to probably go back and watch um somebody else's replay. I think Hannibal and Prodigy cast this game as well. Maybe they saw it. Hmm. Moose giving a full broadside here to Schwartz's Montana. This could hurt a lot, and it does. As half his <laughs> half of his half his surviving HP disappears, and it does. <laughs> yeah, Moscow radar going up on Borla's daring, but Moose had already started turning his turrets. His bow turrets not in a position to do much. His stern nope. turrets might have a shot if he can get him around in time. Looks like he's going to be able to. He does. And he takes a solid hit onto Borla. Yep. Another Moose casual chunked back. Another casual 10k from Schwartz there. Beagle Boss goes out to the Venezia. Kind of all over but the crying here. 450 point lead for KSC. You know, the, watching these two Montanas in this game, it, it, it's almost like watching the uh the Mutai in Babylon 5. <laughs> both, both of them are just tired. They start yeah, they're slapping just, each they're other. Just swinging they're not each even other guarding blindly. each other anymore. Yeah. yeah, they're not even attempting to block shots. They're just like, oh, body shot's fine. Yeah. Now, 
Moose is in a position to knock out Hannibal's, but I think it's still going to cost him his ship because I think the Venezia is going to put him out the off the board here in a minute. Well, he's also brought side to a Stalingrad. Oh, to a Stalingrad. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, he does take the Moskva, but he has he yeah. is out. Wookie down now. Sorry. Yeah, Wookie now down now to just Puddin's Montana, stealing Shima, and Zemeckis Des Moines, all kind of at or near the sea cap. Should be over here momentarily. KSC looks like they're going to be moving on to day two. And Wookie, I believe this is their first time entering the tournament, isn't it, Zath? I, you might be correct. I believe so. Either way, they made it to day two, but it doesn't look like they're going to be moving on. Nope. You know, one of the things that... We haven't talked about this yet today, today a little bit, so I'm going to talk about this briefly while this game kind of winds down. You know, a lot of times, and you see this in chat sometimes, people are like, and even we say, like, what? Why are they doing this? What's the deal? You know, it's real easy to criticize from the sidelines, right? And mm -hmm. and kudos to any team that signs up to play in this event, especially the ones that play multiple days that, you know, risk getting streamed and people, you know, people mocking them or whatever. Like, good on them. Good on them for right. showing up and playing because it's not easy. It's not easy to put yourself out there. And, um, nope. you know, Wookiee didn't win this game. Uh, Wookie, sorry, Wookie didn't win this game. They didn't win this match, but they showed up. They played. They made it all the way to the very end of day two before they got knocked out. Kudos to them. Great game by both teams. But KSC moving on to day two. Or sorry, day three. That's right. KSF, you mean. KS oh, is this KSF? Well, whatever. KSF. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. <laughs> um, now, I do have some insider information oh, uh, from oh talking my. with Puddin this morning. Oh, my. Um, he actually said, please, Zath, for the love of God, don't cast us today. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Why? And I, said, I said, I said, why? What's going on? And, and he's like, so he basically said that that they didn't have any expectation of of um, getting oh, this your far in the off tournament. Again. Your camera's off yep. again. Oh, there I, you I'm go. fixing it right Thank there. you. Um, they didn't have any expectation of getting this far in the tournament, so they didn't take the time to really draw up a ton of maps and battle plans Oops. to put things in motion. Which, hey, this, this it's a lot of work, right? Doing doing this stuff, it it's it's a lot. Oh yeah, um, you were just talking about that. There's there's all the scrims, there's all the practices, there's all the let's look at the map and try to think about where we want to put things. It, it, you know, so like. I, I don't I don't want to knock them for for that at all. Um, no. But like you had said, this was their first time in the tournament. They probably expected to be seal clubbed out on the first day. <laughs> and here they and are. of course, here they are. And they went they went two they went uh, you know they took one game off of KSF. They forced a game three in the loser bracket. So the way I look at it, they did pretty well for themselves considering they came into it without a plan. <laughs> and they just kind of said, "Let's go here. Let's try this. Let's, Let's do just that, you know? roll with it, guys." 